They on some other shit, man. So it's on? Yeah, we should be good. See, look at it and see if we uh we set up through the spirit. I think we good. Oh, shit, you don't have it. Yeah, because it's all going to be Oh, I think it's on my hotspot. Okay, well, you just going to have to check the comment board. Okay, it's cool, it's cool. All right, Shalom. Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to start off by giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, 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 And double honors, as always, to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace and salutation, as always, to the elect. All right, starting with the Tabernacle of David, the 144,000 priests under the Messiah, which will be the governing body of the new world to come under Yahweh Shai. All right, and then also peace and salutation to the large multitude, the rest of the men, women, and children who have been predestined for salvation, all right, which are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, all right, and as, all, and as always, peace and salutation to the brothers and the sisters who may look like the other nations, all right, but you have an affinity for this word, all right, and you're bound to this word, and you're, and, and, and you're moved to repentance through the Holy Spirit. You're an Israelite, all right? And we come today through the Spirit, grace, and power of Yahweh Hashem uh, for a lesson. Uh, we, we're not going to go too long, but uh, we wanted to uh, tear down strongholds as various brothers have been uh, doing videos uh, going into the, uh, you know, virgin birth, which, you know, the Christians are following us around, you know, using uh, drones and spy, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> detective programs to track, you know, yeah, the apostles and elders down, Google Earth, you know, pretty much they're done with Jesus. They, they pretty much dedicated their lives to uh, trying to confound the Hebrew Israelites. And if they could even get us to say we doubt our doctrine, that is uh, pretty much, that's a victory in their eyes, man. But we don't doubt. All right. He that doubted this damn man. Not my internet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My internet is working. If, if we doubt, you know, they, they pretty much, they feel justified and, and happy, all right, at the fact that we even doubt, man. But we don't doubt. We believe, all right, in the 100% truth. We have 100% faith in the 100% truth, man, through the Holy Spirit. So we're going to get into this stronghold dealing with uh, the virgin birth. Now, we're not going to go into the virgin birth in its entirety, but we're going to get into the book of Matthew, the... Uh, the, uh, the first chapter, all right, which when you uh, get that chapter and you start start at verse 1, all right, because this is the uh, record, all right, as the scriptures say, he that believeth on the record that he sent of his son, man, and according to the records, there's a lineage going all the way back to Genesis, the 38th chapter, starting with Judah, all right, which the heavenly father have uh, the first begotten son, the only begotten son of the most high is Yahweh Shai, man. And then the rest of the first fruits came after Yahweh Shai and then everything else. Okay, that's the heavenly uh, body. So he was born of the Holy Spirit because he fulfilled the prophecy. And he's the spirit, all right, of the, 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 the son of the Most High that came down in flesh. But there was a way that he would come, okay? It would come through the lineage of David, man, all right, the line of Judah. And that's how the nation of Israel will be gathered back together on the planet Earth in righteousness, man. All right, so we're going to start... With Matthew, the first chapter. Kind of start right at the top. Yeah, we'll, we'll get uh, Hebrews, too. I, I, love, I love that one. Hebrews, like, uh, 2. Start at, like, 10. Kinda. All right. You got it? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to get into some customs, because a lot of people who bring out this Bible, these Christians, especially, they don't deal with prophecy. They don't deal with history. They don't go into what was happening around the time. They just bring out particular statements or particular scriptures and then build a whole stigma or philosophy around it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they basically break down the scriptures with uh, modern Western understanding, right. and, they, and they feel like it's justified, you know. Right, right, rhetoric, man. They're sophists, <laughs> all right, using that rhetoric from the uh, uh, Greco-Roman Empire, like Constantine did. He added what, you know, uh, uh, Egyptian, Babylonian, all right, customs into the Bible, man, and created a, a religion that would fit everybody, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right? And that's all that Christianity is, man. Yep. And to the brother Fedrick Wells on the comment board, man, don't be troubled, man. All the questions 
we all had these questions when we first crossed over to this troop mm -hmm. about different subjects and topics and, and everything that's, that you might be wondering and might not be addressed immediately, right. you know, uh, on a live show or on a media sit down, but the answers are out there. You know, today we're going to focus on a couple of things. We're not going to go over the whole breadth of the topic because just like the elder was talking before we started, I mean, it, it could be hours and we just don't have that time and tonight. We have lessons up but that's what I, yeah, I was going to say. If you type in Virgin Birth, Great Millstone, even if you go into just the GMS Dallas in class page and type in Virgin Birth, you're going to see a plethora of topics. You're going to see a plethora of videos touching on this topic to where you can get a better understanding if you just, you know, take your time and go through it. So Lord willing, this kind of adds right. to your understanding and, um, and it can be, you know, helpful. Right. The, the understanding of relationships today and how they were dealt with in the ancient world are so on different spectrums that it can be uh, confusing and for some people disheartening. Mm -hmm. There's two things you have you do have to have an alpha male mentality yeah. <laughs> when looking at the scriptures. Yeah. You know, and then you have to also understand the most high is dealing with enterprise, business, nation building. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the most efficient way to do it. So there's traditions that came out of that. Right, and, 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 the, and the bottom line is just stick to the prophecies. What did the prophecy say? You know, how did the prophecy say that the Messiah would come? What was the promise that was given to David? All right, do you know that, brother? Do you know the promise that was given to David as, per, as pertaining to, his, uh, to the Messiah? If you don't, you should. You should learn that. And if you stick to the prophecy, it, it, it really weeds out all of the confusion, man. It really does. It really does. Let's really matter does. of fact, let's just start with that prophecy real quick in uh Second Samuel, the seventh chapter. Exactly. So start at like the uh twelfth verse or the tenth verse. Huh, this is this is Nathan the prophet speaking to our King David, which isn't the Messiah the the uh, to come of the lineage of David? That's right. All right? Go ahead, brother. Huh, this is second Samuel seven and ten. It says, Moreover, I will appoint a place for my people Israel mm -hmm. and will plant them that they may dwell in a place of their own mm -hmm. and move no more. Right, and move no more. And that promise was given to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, and you can read uh, uh, the promise to Jacob in Genesis, the 35th chapter. So it, all, it was always promised that we would get placed in the land and be a sovereign nation and rule out of Jerusalem. All right, and, and, and the law, statutes, and commandments would be the laws that will be enforced in the planet earth. That's the kingdom of heaven. Go ahead. It says, neither shall the children of wickedness afflict them anymore. Right. Esau eat them because we're going to be delivered out of his hands. All right. Go ahead. As before time. Mm -hmm. And as since the time that I commanded judges to be over my people Israel mm -hmm. and have caused thee to rest from all thy enemies. Mm -hmm. Also, the Lord telleth thee that he will make thee in house. Make thee in house. Now, at the time of Moses, you had the tabernacle. All right, and then Solomon built the temple, okay, and the nations always seek to sack that temple, but the third temple, all right, ultimately would be a spiritual temple. We rebuilt the temple at the time of Cyrus, but the third temple will be a spiritual temple. The, the temple represents where the Lord would dwell. Go ahead. That's right. It says... And he's going to dwell inside of his elect. That's, the, that's the, the spiritual temple that's being built now. Go ahead. Verse 12, it says, And when thy days be fulfilled, and thou shalt sleep with thy fathers... I will set up thy seed after thee. Right. This is Nathan speaking to David. He said, when thy days be fulfilled and I sleep with thy fathers, when you pass away, what did he say? It says, I will set up thy seed after thee, mm -hmm. which shall proceed out of thy bowels. Right. Which shall proceed out of thy bowels. Okay. If you stick to this prophecy, mm -hmm. really is it allows you to navigate and weed through everything else. Go ahead. Uh, it says... And I will establish his kingdom. Right. I will establish his kingdom. Now, we know through David came Solomon. All right. But here's the kicker. I will establish his kingdom. Go ahead. It says, he shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. Forever. Now, did Solomon's <laughs> kingdom last forever? Absolutely not. It was 40 years of peace. Mm -hmm. So the kingdom of heaven will be established through the loins of David. He just told him that. And there's various other precepts that go into the same exact thing. Mm -hmm. Both Old and New Testament. The Messiah will come, the root of Jesse, the lineage of David. Okay, but we're going to get into Matthew, which trips a lot of people up. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, 
verse 14, I will be his father and he shall be my son. Mm -hmm. If he commit iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of men and right. with the stripes of the children of men. Right, and he is the son of the Most High because in spirit he's the only begotten of the Most High. Okay? And he's born of the Holy Spirit because his he was ordained from the foundation of the earth to fulfill prophecy, man. But how on earth would he fulfill that prophecy? It would be through the loins of David. And Solomon, he didn't get uh, uh, hit with the stripes of, of the children of men. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's talking about the Messiah, Yahweh Shai. That's talking about Yahweh Shai. Are we not born of the Holy Spirit? We are we born of the Holy Spirit. When you Spirit. come into this truth, are you not reborn? reborn right. How are you reborn? Through the Spirit. Through the Spirit. That's right. That's right. When you when 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 when, when prophecy is fulfilled through you, man, you it's it's born of the spirit. It's born brought of forth of the spirit. Right. That's why John the Baptist was born of the spirit. spirit. He was sent to fulfill prophecy, man. Right. We are awakened and enlightened into this truth right. through prophecy through the spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's right. That's right. We are a, 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 a begotten again to a lively hope, right. as the scriptures say. So we're born of the Holy Spirit. Because as the scriptures talk about in the latter days, there will be a, a, a remnant of Israelites that will wake up to the truth. If you're fulfilling that, then you're born of the Holy Spirit. Go ahead. Died garments from Basra put John 3 and 6. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. Mm -hmm. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Is spirit. Does that mean you didn't have a mother and father? <laughs> <laughs> no, man. You know, so so these are things that have been thrown around for ages that have pretty much discombobulated the minds of our people, man. The most the, 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 the Messiah had a father who was a descendant of David. That's how he was a descendant of David. And it tells you that his father was a descendant of David, man. Yeah. All right. So did you have something? No. Nah. You know, and the brother, this is the spirit then for you then, uh, bro. Low willingness is edifying. If we can edify one person, right. call Halal Yahweh by Shemir Yahweh Shah because he said, Specifically, the espousal part mm -hmm. is something that he was struggling with. Mm -hmm. You know, that's something we're going to touch on. That's something we're going to touch on. That's through the Spirit. That's mm -hmm. cool. That's what's up. You we know. prayed for this, for somebody, mm -hmm. before we started this video. Right. So, a little willingness right. to edify for you. And the thing is, if the Most High wanted it to be a, 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 a seed to be put inside of a woman by an angel, he could do that. Exactly. I, I wanted to make that. I wanted to make that. But that ain't how it's written. And that's just not true. The Lord exactly. didn't use artificial insemination. Go ahead. When you go and you look in the scriptures and you see when the Most High is making a statement to his people, he usually does it unconventionally. Mm -hmm. He'll go outside of tradition to exert his authority right. over the situation and the matter. Right, right. If you go and read the scriptures in certain points where prophecy or, or the Most High is uh, uh, affirming his hand on the matter... He will do it outside the box. Mm -hmm. And th in this particular time, we see that in the situation with Joseph and Mary. Right. You right. know, where tradition was broken. That's right. And trust and faith had to be put in. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Like David, you know, he yeah. committed adultery. Yeah. You know, but the Lord had mercy. You know, according to the law, he's supposed to be put to death. So the Lord always, in various ways through Israel, it was a very peculiar story in how he brought the nation of Israel forth because it was not bound to the technicalities of how it was technically supposed to go. And that's the Most High saying, this is my will. I'm, yeah. You know, yeah. I'm going to do what I want to do. Mm -hmm. All right? Did you want to go ahead and no. go? Yeah, we go ahead and go. Hebrews. Hebrews 2. Uh, yeah. Where did we start? Uh, started, uh... Uh... Eleven. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter two, verse eleven. It says, "For both he that sanctified and they who are sanctified are all of one." Are all of one. That's the Yahweh Shai and the elect. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. For which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren. To call them brethren, his elect, his followers, and they came in the flesh. All right. Peter came in the flesh. Bartholomew they came in the flesh. John the Baptist had a father. All right. Go ahead. Saying, I will declare thy name unto my brethren. Mm -hmm. In the midst of the church will I sing praise unto thee. Mm -hmm. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, behold, I and the children which the Most High have given me. The elect, go ahead. For as much when as the children are partakers of flesh, 
and blood. As the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same. He likewise himself took part of the same. Go ahead. That through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is, the devil. And when he raised from the dead, now 16 through 17, and we'll get to the story. Verse 16, for verily he took not on him the nature of angels. He didn't take on him the nature of angels. He could have. That's right. Go ahead. But he took on him the seed of Abraham. Mm -hmm. All right. Wherefore, in all things, it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren, mm -hmm. that he might be a merciful and be moved them to be made like unto his brethren. This is the top spirit on the right hand side of the Most High, and he had to come down and partake in the same thing that we're partaking in. He looking like a man. He, he was a he was a man. Mm -hmm. You see, people talking about oh, I ain't following man. Yeah, I wish I was a man. Exactly. All right. That's why they didn't believe him. Bro. That's why they didn't believe him. They wanted something, you know, something just. You know, and he came on a mule. He was a regular man. Pissed, shit, ate, drank, yep. drank you know, he drank wine. Yep. Called him a wine bibber. You know? So let's go ahead and jump to uh, Matthew. We can start at 1 and, 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 and go down a little bit, then we'll jump to the point. Okay. This is uh, Matthew uh, 1 and 1. It says, the book of the generation of Yahweh Shaha Mashiach. And this is the first thing you ask yourself. The book of the generations... Of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, man. Okay? And that word generation is Genesis, all right? Source, origin. The book of one's lineage. The book of one's lineage, which in which his ancestry, ancestry or poor gene are emulated. Birth, nativity, you know? As Messiah himself tells us in Revelation, the 22nd chapter, I am from the offspring, I am the root. And offspring of David. Okay, so go ahead. That's why this was important because it had to be registered to fulfill prophecy. That's For right. prophecy's sake, this gen this genealogy was important. Very important. Okay. Okay. Because when you read this, this is di this is the direct lineage through David, man. Go ahead. Kind of says Matthew one and one, the book of the generation of Yahweh Shah and Mashiach. The son of David, mm -hmm. the son of Abraham. Mm -hmm. Abraham begot Isaac, and Isaac begot Jacob, mm -hmm. and Jacob begot Judas. And Who's Judas? Brother. Who's Judas? Judah, mm -hmm. the tribe of Judah. Judah. So the Messiah came from the lineage of, of he's an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Right. And according to prophecy, it would be through the lineage of Judah in which the tribes would be gathered together and the lawgiver would sit. Okay? And that's in Genesis, that's all the way back to Genesis, the 49th chapter, man. It's very important to understand history and prophecy before jumping to the New Testament as Christians do. Because Christians, they all just jump to the New Testament. They don't even deal with prophecy. The, 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 you know? Yeah. And that really can, and, that, and, and our people going to church and hearing all of these things for so long, it just messed their mind up, man. Yeah, because how do you think Paul and the apostles and disciples were teaching the people about the Lord? What were they using? Mm -hmm. They were going through the Old Testament prophecies to prove mm -hmm. who Yahusha was. Mm -hmm. To go and say, look, this, 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 and this, it's the Savior, it's this, it's da 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 da, these mm -hmm. scriptures. Mm -hmm. Okay? I got you real quick. Mm -hmm. This is Paul, Acts 28 and 23. And when they had appointed a day, him a day, there came many unto him, unto his lodging, to whom he expounded and testified of the kingdom of God. Persuading them concerning the Messiah, Yahweh Shai, both out of the law of Moses and out of the prophets from morning to evening. Going through scriptures. The Old Testament scriptures. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to skip down Matthew 1 and 6. So that, that, that's very important. I want to make one more point when you keep reading down because it's going to say Perez. Now it said okay. Judah. I'm going to keep reading. All right. Yep, I'm going to keep going. This is uh, Matthew 1 and 3. And it says, and Judas uh, begot Perez and Zerah. And Perez and Zerah. And who's Perez? All right. Going back to Genesis 38. That is the line in which the Messiah would eventually come through. Because Judah had five sons. But of the line of Perez is where the Messiah will come through. Which is why that story is so important. Read Genesis the 38th chapter. Read the book of Ruth. Okay. It, it, it brings up Perez. 
And these things are all tied all together. And I, I went through the book of Ruth. I went through uh, 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 Genesis, the 38th chapter. And it's on our page if you want to look that up. Now, you got it. No, yeah, it's going to go into a, the, the root, the root too. Yeah. Right. It says, uh, Matthew 1 and 3, And Judas begot Perez, and uh, Salaki, and Judas begot Perez, and Zerah of Damar, mm -hmm. and Perez begot Ezram, and Ezram begot Aram, and Aram begot Amadab. Amin, yeah, jump to five. Kind of. Verse five. Does and, that mean Ruth was a virgin? Right. Does that mean Ruth was a virgin? Kind of, kind of. And Salmon begot Boaz of Rechab, mm -hmm. and Boaz begot Obed of Ruth. Boaz begot Obed of Ruth. That's the importance of the book of Ruth. Not to argue was she a Moabite or Israelite. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the seed of Messiah was, was preserved through Boaz being a kinsman redeemer, which Yahawashai would ultimately in spirit be the kinsman redeemer for the nation of Israel, man. Go ahead. It kind of says, and Boaz begot Obed of Ruth, and Obed begot Jesse. The rich. And Obed begot Jesse, and, and, and let's get Isaiah 11 real quick. I'll get it real quick. Isaiah 11 come on, and 1. And there shall come forth a rod and a stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. Exactly. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord. So yeah, he was born of the Holy Spirit. On, he fulfilled, he's fulfilling, he's he's gonna fulfill this prophecy. Exactly. All right, go ahead. If I can say this too, that's why the book of Ruth was necessary too for the fulfilling of prophecy, man. Fulfilling of prophecy, man. It's a story about a particular family. This is the book of the Israelites, man. That's right. Don't let these Christians misconstrue your mind, man. Go ahead. Uh, this is uh, Matthew 1 and 6. It says, And Jesse begot David, David. the king. <laughs> the king. And David the king begot Solomon of her that had been the wife of Uriah. He's going through the history. <laughs> yep. You know? Go ahead. And Solomon begot Rohabon, and Rohabon begot Abia. All right, and you can pretty he much. He came, he came out of that line. That line. Came out yeah. of that line. The that direct line. line. The direct line. And remember, we, we read the prophecy that Nathan told David that. The, the Messiah that's going to establish everything forever. This is a forever. heavy line. It's a heavy line. This particular line. That's the line of David, the king. Now, now multiple lines yeah. came came out of Judah. Yeah, five. Five in but particular. This particular line, I mean, I'm talking about in, in the other lines, yeah. you, had prophets, you had prophets, yeah. Yeah. Just great, great men, great right? men right? came out yeah. of the line of Judah. Right. right. But this particular line had just power packed. <laughs> right, right. Power pack, right. and that goes back to the prophecy that you read in, in uh, Genesis, the forty ninth chapter. That's right. right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You want to get it? No. Okay. Okay. No. I want to jump down. Uh, because I want to get the point. Start at that's at sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. That's, sixteen. Yep. Yeah. And we go jump down through the line and mentions a lot of kings that you can read about. You yeah. Know, but we're gonna uh, the kings of the line of David. Check them out. All right, check them out, read them. All right, we're not making this up. Now jump to verse 16. Come on, Matthew 1 and 16. And Jacob begot Joseph, the husband of Mary. How do you become, on, a, how do you become a husband of someone? That's the, the key question you got to ask for real. Why is he mentioned? Why is he mentioned in his genealogy? Why is Joseph getting credit in his genealogy when he, he's a husband? His seed ain't even a part of it. Why does it say Gabriel, the angel? And we don't, you know, I know that we're not saying that the angel had sex with very yeah, be adultery, man. If that says just Shut just or artificial insemination, yeah. or whatever you're trying to say, why is Joseph mentioned? Right, that's right. That's the husband, his stepfather Joseph. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that BS that you would actually say out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. Yep. Real quick, this is Luke two and four, and Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, unto the city of David which is called Bethlehem, which is where the Messiah was promised to be born, because he was of the house and lineage of David. Come on, channel. Joseph was of the house and lineage of David. Okay? We have to establish these things, man. Mm -hmm. All right? And Mary was, too. Right. Yes. But she didn't, come out of, she didn't come out of that same line. Right, right. Remember, he had five sons. Judah had five sons, man. She All didn't right. come out of Solomon. 
you know. Go ahead. Now, this is back in uh, Matthew 1 and 16. It says, And Jacob begot Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Yahweh Shah, who was called the Messiah. This is the record. So you will believe the testimony of men or the testimony of the Most High. All right, go ahead. It says, so all the generations from... I don't want to make this point. I'm sorry. sorry. No, go ahead, brother. Everybody wants to make this point that Mary was mentioned. Mm -hmm. Ruth was mentioned. Yeah. Tamar. It's for the fulfilling of prophecy. Tamar was mentioned. Okay. <laughs> you know Judah was all up in that. Yeah, I hope he was hitting that. <laughs> Just because Mary's mentioned don't mean that she... You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No. Joseph... Was knocking her back out. Right? Exactly. Okay. Yep. We want to they mentioned Rahab. Yeah. Rahab the Arm. Yeah, Rahab the Arm. She right. got she mentioned. Got she got mentioned. Virgin. Was she a virgin? No, she wasn't. Now, the word virgin, technically, in, okay. in, the, in the prophecy, means a, a young woman of marriageable age, That's too. Right. That's right. With I Alamo, you go to Isaiah uh, 7 and 14. That's right. right. Yeah, you can get it. You can yeah, get it. I was dead. Yeah, you can get it real quick. Because we, we got to, I mean, we got to go to these precepts. That's how I knew the virgin birth is a very tedious breakdown. But we just, we're going to hit this point. But it's a lot. And we go, hey, Lord will, we'll continue in other days as well, man. Next week, I, I, uh, I'll go into it as well. Go ahead. It's something real basic right here. You got to know. This is Isaiah 7 and 14. It says, therefore... The Lord Himself shall give you a sign. Man, they believe in the virgin birth, but we said we ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. What we believe in in faith is just ridiculous. But you believe that she had a virgin birth, mm -hmm. but we can't know. We our vocalization right. of the Hebrew is absolutely ridiculous. Right. Th this is the type of hypocrisy that these yeah. Christians will push on you, man. Through. <laughs> they through. And they infatuated. Go ahead. Uh, Isaiah 7 and 14, it says, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a son. Mm -hmm. Behold, a virgin. A virgin. You got that word? Yep, and we're going to look up that word. Go ahead. Keep it reading. It says, Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call him and shall call his name Emmanuel. Right, and a lot of people make the argument well, that ain't talking about the Messiah. Well, even if it ain't, eventually it's promised according to Isaiah 9 and 6 that a child will be born. That's right. Yeah, they were, there were uh, men born of that line that did righteous things, but who would be the one to establish the kingdom forever, man? Come on now. Isaiah 9 tells us a child is born. So we got the word virgin it's, uh, in Hebrew. Strong's H5959. Alama. Mm -hmm. You know? Alama. Right. And it says virgin, young woman. Young woman. Of so. marriageable age. Right. Now, if it wanted to use. The, the, the word for virgin to actually never had sex, it would have used Bathlawam or Bathlama. Yep. Bathwala. Yep. Bathwala. Touch woman. Yep. All right. And Mary had more children after that, man. That's right. Yeah, how was sure I have brothers and sisters, man? Mm -hmm. So this whole holy conception, immaculate, you know, that that that's that's not according to the scripture, man. That's all woman worship. Right? If I can say this too. Uh, that precept that I just read in Isaiah 7 and 14 is also in Matthew the first chapter. It's the same thing. It's quoting that. Yeah, we, so it, it's, it got to be talking about the Messiah. Talk Messiah, man. Come on, man. Now let's get back to Matthew. Okay. These are points we got to bring out, though, you know? This is uh, back in uh, Matthew uh, 1 and 17. It says, So all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations. And from David until the carrying away into Babylon are 14 generations. This is a very, very particular ge uh, genealogy, okay? Go ahead. And from the carrying away unto Babylon unto Hamashiach are 14 generations. It says, now the birth of Yahweh Hamashiach was on this wise. Right, now the birth of Yahweh Hamashiach was on this wise. Now if you, shaky, we just read prophecy, you should be very clear on how the Messiah was to come. That's right. Okay, now we're going to read this through the Spirit, all right? Now, the birth of the Messiah was on this wise. Go ahead. When, as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph. Was espoused to Joseph. Parentheses. Right? Now, what does espouse yep. mean? Mm -hmm. Basically, engage. That's right. All right? That Promise. was a custom. Yep. Promise to. Yep. You know, a woman will be promised to a man, and we're going to get our, an article going into... The ancient custom of that time. You got to know that too. You do. 
You got to be studied. You can't just come into this thing thinking you just go read something. And, you know, you got to actually know what you're talking about, man. That's right. Okay? Go ahead. It says, when as his mother, Mary was espoused to Joseph, in parentheses, it says, before they came together. Before they came together. Now, this is what we're going to focus on. Before they came together. Go ahead. She was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Now, what does that mean? A lot of people say, well, before they had sex, she had a child by an angel. Now, what does came together mean? Let's get that word in the Greek. And then we're going to get the custom, man. And show you that according to the, to the, to the Hebrew Israelites, there was a particular way marriages were set up. Now, remember, this is the royal line of Judah, man. So things had to be done in particular. That's why you had him marrying a Judite. Don't you know in the book of Numbers, there's particular, there particular situations where you only marry within your tribe. Okay? Go ahead. This is a uh, came together. Came together. Strong's G 4905. Suner Khamai. Suner Khamai. All right. Suner Khamai. Mm-hmm. And it means to come together, to assemble. To assemble, right? To assemble. Now, go to the root word, to assemble. Mm -hmm. Now, there, before marriages took place, before the actual act of sex, in the, in the, the Hebrew Israelite custom was to gather everybody together and have a feast, present these two, to, you know, as they're going to be married, mm -hmm. and then later on that night, they would enter into the, the, the bed chamber, have sex, and then the token of virginity, which was the blood yep. upon the sheet, would be presented, and it would be consummated. It would be, it would be done. That's right. All right? Now, get uh, the root word. Uh, for Kermai? Yeah. Yeah. Get that one. You know, just read. Uh... Yeah, just read, uh, just read it. Just read, uh, right here. Just read, uh, that one All and right. then read down. All right. So, when you go this and get the Greek word for come together. Go yeah, ahead. When you get the Erkomai. Strong G, 2064. Erkomai. Erkomai. When you get Erkomai, it says to come a person. To come from one place to another and, and use both of persons arriving and of those returning to appear, make one's appearance, come before the public. Come before the public. Now, now, is this can this be substantiated by the Holy Scriptures that this is how the Israelites did it? Well, let's read. Let's get Jacob. Let's get Jacob in uh, yeah. uh, Genesis, the uh, I believe, 29. Genesis chapter 29, verse 20. And Jacob served seven years for Rachel. And they seemed unto him but a few days and he loved Rachel. for the love he had to her. Mm -hmm. And Jacob said unto Laban, Give me my wife. Give me my wife. For my days are fulfilled that I may go in unto her. Mm -hmm. And Laban gathered together. He gathered together. All the men of the place. All the men of the place. And made a feast. And made a feast. Didn't uh, what was the Messiah's first miracle? He turned water into wine at a wedding feast. All right? And what does it say? And it came to pass in the evening that he took Leah, his daughter, and brought her to him, and he went in unto her. So they had to have the feast first. Is there other scriptures where Israelites did this? Yes. Let's get Samson, and then we're going to go into that history. You got that website? Mm-hmm. Okay. Judges chapter 14, verse 7. We'll just, yeah, just, we'll, we'll start at uh, uh, 10. Start at 1 and 2 and then jump to 10. Okay. Judges chapter 14, verse 1. And Samson went down to Timnah and saw a woman in Timnah of the daughters of the Philistines. Mm -hmm. And he came up and told his father and his mother and said, I have seen a woman in Timnah of the daughters of the Philistines. Mm, I want that. Now, therefore, get her for me get to her, wife. Get her for me to wife. Now, how did, how, what was the process? Jump to verse 10. Verse 10, Judges 14 and 10. So his father went down unto the woman, and Samson made there a feast. Made there a feast. <laughs> for, so used the, for so used the young men to do. Right. And it came to pass, when they saw him, 
that they brought 30 companions to be with him. There you go. There you go. So let's get to that website. And there and, and Book of Tobit goes into it. Yep, yep. You know, there, there's there's other scriptures as well, but we're gonna jump to some history. Um, this is a website, what is it called? This is uh, Bible-history.com. Mm -hmm. Bible study. Uh, and then you, you just in the search engine, you just type in marriage. Marriage, right? Now, um, jump to this part. Go down. Now, when you type in marriage, it, it says ancient marriage, mm -hmm. ancient manners and custom, daily life cultures, mm -hmm. and Bible lands. Right. Read these things, brothers. You know, go and type in women in the ancient world. There's websites that will give you a little uh, insight and understanding because Western culture has taught us a whole bunch of BS, man. This is not the way that things are done here. There's remnants of the ways that it was done back then, but this ain't it, brothers. So a lot of times people try to filter the way that things happened back then through what they see here. You know? No, man. Go ahead. And it betrothal. Mm -hmm. Okay, it says, in the ancient Near East, betrothal took place before the actual marriage. Mm -hmm. And it was considered as binding as marriage. Mm -hmm. In ancient Israel, a woman who was betrothed was considered the wife of the man. Mm -hmm. She was betrothed to. Mm -hmm. So everybody knew, like, mm -hmm. okay, they, they, they mm -hmm. get mm -hmm. And it was, and she was bound to be faithful. The betrothal, the betrothal period lasted usually six months. Six months. And sometimes a year. Mm -hmm. And it was a binding promise between the bridegroom and, and bride to marry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, you want to uh, go to wedding ceremony? Wedding ceremony. Skipping down. The ceremony itself was called the chuppah, which means canopy, mm -hmm. and the bride and bridegroom would go under the canopy for all to see. For all to see. This is the marriage custom of ancient Israel. This is how the people <laughs> kept things clean. Clean. Decent in and order. order. Yep. Yep. That's the nature of the Heavenly Father. That's how he had set right. up. But to show his authority over things, mm -hmm. the most high will do things in secret. Mm -hmm. To prove your faith. Mm -hmm. Right? It says they would they would then proceed to a room where she would remove her veil and they would physically become one mm -hmm. in their marriage covenant with the most high. There you go. They wasn't playing checkers. Right. You know, how you become one with one right. of them. Right. You know, it was, you know, it wasn't in there playing Uno. Right. And there's times where this, you know, where the feast and everything was was bypassed too. You know, yeah. Isaac. What was that? Uh, what was that that went to the tent? Isaac and uh, Rebecca. Yep. He just basically, she saw him. She was like, ooh. He was like, ooh. And they went to the tent, and she became his wife. All right. Then you had the, the issue of rape. You know, things happen. To where, where the, the, the but, custom, but, the tradition right. was broken. The tradition was broken, but this is the tradition. This is the most highest esteemed, highest esteemed way. Tradition. Right, 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 right. To where it's like, okay, yeah. And if you do it another way, it's kind of looked down upon a little right. bit. Right, right, right. Yep. You know? I'll keep reading. It says, afterward, they would place the blood-stained garment out of the window of the room mm -hmm. for all to see that she had been a virgin. <laughs> right, right. You can't do that when y'all had already yeah. got it in. Right, he already had, you know, and we're going to go into that. Now read the wedding feast, a little bit of that, and then we'll go back to the scriptures. Okay. What do we have? Uh, what was that in uh, uh, Joel? Joel 2 and 16. Can we read that real quick? No, nah, we'll read that uh, other one, and then we'll, we'll get to that. All we right. Get it in, get it in the, the wedding feast. The doors were shut, and the feast began with great dancing. And celebration. And this is before the actual them coming together. This is the feast. Remember, Jacob said uh, Laban had a feast. Mm -hmm. Samson had a feast. All right, the Messiah turned water into wine at a feast. Mm -hmm. and well, this is what went on. And this is Jake. Go ahead. Right. It says with great dancing and celebration, lasting seven days at the bridegroom's house. There you go. At the bridegroom, not out in Vegas where your right, wife goes right. and cheats on you <laughs> right, with, yeah. with, with right. some random dudes right. at the club right. before she comes and walks down right. the aisle. Right, right, right. 
Talk about a bachelorette party. Dave, right there, yeah. Yeah, with some damn homosexual stripper yeah. named Tampico. Such a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Tampico, nasty ass homosexual, putting his rod all in your woman's mouth, man. Yeah, it's filthy things, man. And that's what this is what happens all throughout America, man. You know? Go ahead. Western world, kind of water. Uh, it says, uh, <laughs> yeah, nasty ass Tampico, man. <laughs> Come on, bro. That's, that's that really be happening. That really be happening. And she and she sold her she sold her royal oats, bro. You know, and, and, you go out and see a bride a, a bachelorette party. You know that all that whole clique is ready to get it in. Mm -hmm. You know, bro, bro, bro bachelorette party. Right. You know, <laughs> yeah. it says all guests were given special garments, clothing of festivity. The bridegroom and bride were treated as king and queen. They also wore garments mm -hmm. of celebration and did no work. They would watch the festivities, drink wine, and even join in the dancing. The ruler of the feast was responsible for all preparations and benediction. So this is the custom, you know? And there's more history we can get into. It's just the custom. So, so would not this royal family be bound to that custom, man? All right, but the thing is, Joseph... Lay with Mary before that custom, man. That's what happened. That's what happened. We're gonna show you. Go ahead. Go back to uh oh, oh the brother gotta get Matthew. Get uh what do you want, man? Get that get uh Joel real quick. We're gonna get a spiritual sense of how the Messiah, how he marries the nation of Israel. Yeah. Okay, and how it's all tied to the same custom. Go ahead. Joel two and fifteen. Blow the trumpet in Zion, mm -hmm. sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly. Call a solemn assembly. Gather the people. Gather the people. Sanctify the congregation. Sanctify the congregation. Put on the, they all have to put on those particular things, you mm -hmm. know, go ahead. You know, the GLCC white on. Yeah, that's that all white. <laughs> you know, Slide. it's an Israelite party, you know. Assemble the elders. Gather the children. Gather the children. And those that suck the breasts. Gather, assemble the elders. Bring your children. Ain't that what Jake do at the weddings, you know? Let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber. Let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber. Bro. You see? Now this is speaking in the spiritual sense of how the Most High is going to gather Israel. But what is what what is uh, Israel unto the Most High? All right, his wife, his bride. How was the marriage consummated in the first covenant? It was the law, statutes, and commandments. That's that was the agreement. That was the cutting. That's right. All right, and under the second covenant, he's actually gonna impregnate his wife with the law, statutes, and commandments inside of her, man. He's gonna cut inside of our spirits, man. Mm -hmm. right. right. That's what the word sex means. To right. Cut. Exactly. Right. Now I got the uh, history on that. On that scripture, it says this refers to a custom among the Jews at the time of espousals when the bridegroom and bride were introduced into the nuptial chamber. Where the marriage was completed. Hold on. What he's reading right now is a biblical study right. of Joel the second chapter. Right, right, right. This is from uh, uh, Gill's study guide. John Gill. John Gill. Right. So he's t so John Gill is making a commentary on Joel two and sixteen. Right. Let me highlight. Right, right. This refers to a customs among the Jews at the time of the spousals when the bridegroom and the bride were introduced into the nuptial chamber, where the marriage was completed. According to the Jews, all right, it was not finished before. It said the blessing of the bridegroom and the bride did not complete the marriage, but the bringing of them into the chamber did, and then they were said to be married. What happened in that chamber? What happened in the chamber? Yeah. No, I love you. No, I love you. No, I love you. I love you. No, bro. You, you don't go to the chamber and start texting each other or checking your damn Twitter, man. You get it on, man. That's the that's the custom of Israelites. No Jake, man. Okay? Yeah, man. They did no Jake dancing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, slide. Uh, you know, reverse. The Cupid shuffle. You know? Reverse. Yeah, reverse. Slide to the left. Slide, you know. It says uh uh the bringing them of the uh, uh into the chamber uh 
considered them married, and then they were said to be married, though as yet they had not cohabitated and then, and not before a man might enjoy his wife. So you can't enjoy her before this process, man. So going back to Matthew, all right? Yeah. Going back to Matthew. Still on that Matthew. Can't get Matthew yeah. one. Absolutely. This is back in Matthew 1. We start at the, uh, the, at the birth of, of Yahweh Shabbos on this wise. Okay, kind of. Uh, yeah, verse 18. Matthew 1 and 18. And it says, if this is making sense, put on a comment for Khan, Baba Kusha. Go ahead. Yeah, Matthew 1 and 18. It says, now the birth of Yahweh Shabbos, Mashiach, was on this wise. When as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together. Before they came together. Now we know what came together mean. Before they made themselves public. Go ahead. It says, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. She was, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Now people bug out about found with child of the Holy Ghost. But yeah, he was born of the Holy Spirit. We read about the prophecies. We read about the prophecies. You born of the Holy Spirit if you one of the true believers. That's right. When you were born out of your mother's womb, there was already a promise for you set in the heavens before you were even born. That's right. There was already a promise for the Messiah to be the Messiah before he came in the womb, before Jeremiah was born in the womb. What did the Lord tell him? I sanctified you and ordained you to be a prophet unto the nations before I even formed you in the womb. That's right. So Jeremiah was born of the Holy Spirit. That's right. Born of the Holy Spirit ultimately is the, you fulfilling biblical prophecy. That's it, that's all, man. And there's a lot more that comes with it, but 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 that's the basic understanding of it, man. That's right. Before they went to, through the traditions of the espousal and the wedding feast and everything like that, Joseph had already went in unto Mary. That's what that's talking about. Right. That's it. And then usually the espousal process took some time. So like brothers like to say, she probably was already shown. That's right. Go ahead. It says, verse uh, 19, then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example. Now, what does that mean? Joseph being a just man, not willing to make her a public example because he, he was of the royal line. So what does a public example mean? Let's get Sirach, uh, what is that, 42? Because the father waked for the daughter? Mm -hmm. Because what was going to happen when Joseph took her into that bedchamber in front of everybody, Will he be able to put a cloth out of right. thing and show be her to right. be able to show that she was a virgin? No. No. Yes, no. He wouldn't be able to do that and everybody would be like, oh, she a hoe. And then it's the crazy thing. Everything concerning the Messiah was supposed to fulfill the law. <laughs> so he would the, 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 the token of virginity, you know what I'm saying? It would have been a bad look for right. them to go through that ceremonial yeah, process. Like, wait a minute, you know, they would have been mad as hell. And then at the end of it, they and her, her father were going, oh, snap. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. That's a shame, according to uh, uh, the Bible. You, you got it? Okay. Sirach 42 and Sorry, 9. Man. The father waketh for the daughter. Listen, brothers. When Go ahead. no man knoweth. Mm -hmm. And the care for her taketh away sleep. The care for her taketh away sleep. Go ahead. When she is young. She oh, had. and get Deuteronomy 22 and 22. And, and bro, I'm, this is so true, bro. Right. For the for the brothers that got daughters, Ooh. tell me this scripture ain't true. This scripture is on point. <laughs> Boy, That's you know exactly it's true. how you feel. It's true. It's true. It's straight up true. <laughs> you know Let's get uh, Deuteronomy 21st. Okay. Uh, 22. 20 and 22? 22. You got it? The brother just put it. 20 and 22 and 20. Yeah, read that. This is uh, Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 20. It says, but of this thing, but if this thing be true, and she, and the tokens of her virginity be not found for the damsel, mm -hmm. then they shall bring out the damsel to the door of her father's house, uh -huh. and the men of her city shall stone her with stones, Ooh. that she die because she had wrought folly in Israel. So this is a very, very important Man, thing. That's serious. Very, very serious. All right, so we got that. So go back to... Uh, Matthew? Uh, uh, no. Nah. Okay. Nice. Uh, is there some more in that? Or uh, if you want to read it. No, nah, that's good. Now go to uh, Sirach. 
Go, this is back in Sirach 42 and 9. The father waketh for the daughter when no man knoweth. Man, be and, watching for your daughter. And the care for her taketh away sleep mm -hmm. when she is young. Mm -hmm. At least she pass away the flower of her age. Her period, when she, she matures and comes to a marriageable age. And being married, least she should be hated. Least she should be hated. Why would she be hated? Go ahead. And her virginity... Least she should be defiled and gotten with child in her father's house. Least she should be she should be defiled and gotten with child in her father's house. That was looked down upon. The father wanted to give his daughter away, and then you know what I'm saying. Yep. And then she have a child. That's right. You know what I'm saying. So Joseph, you know, he was like, damn. Why is he so troubled? Imagine your woman comes to you and say, I'm, I'm a good child of the Holy Spirit. You'll be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then you take the child to Egypt running. For, if, if, if it ain't my child, I'm not going to go to Egypt with y'all. No, the, tell the Holy Spirit to come and take your ass to Egypt yeah, since you were born yeah. with the child of the Holy Spirit. He said right? Joseph was like a simp beta male. Yeah, that's exactly what he's saying. Man. Come on now, read that part again. It says, uh, uh, verse uh, uh, 10. Verse 10 says, in her virginity, least she should be defiled and gotten with child in her father's house. And having an husband, least she should misbehave herself. That's misbehaving yourself. The custom was the custom. You didn't want your daughter, you wanted her to go through a marriage and give her away to a man. Now, there were particular uh, instances where that process was broken. That's why we bring out the, the, the Deuteronomy 22. All right, and, and if a woman is taken. But when you read the history, a father could get angry at that, but some fathers was like, all right, you know, just give me the 50 shekels. You got to take her to be your wife. That's the law. Yeah. That's what we brought out, the thing of rape. The thing of rape, that's not the way men every day just got down. It was how you kept the nation clean. It was just how you, yeah. yeah. All those women, women that had these situations, a lot of women in the scriptures that had husbands, and they might have died, and they, or, or if they had children, they, if they had sex before this process, they got cast out. The they father got, cast them they out. Got cast out, right, right? And they got relegated to prostitution. That's it. That's true. That's very true. They, that's how they took care of themselves. Right. If the woman get cast out as a, 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 a misfit, all right, nobody would accept her, so she would eventually uh, there become would be a prostitute. Parts of town. That's true. Where it was women that lived in those parts of towns. To where they took care of themselves by prostitution. That's right. Prostitution was a economic development. That's right. And people go crazy over that, but it's true. It's Solomon true. judged a, a, a matter between two prostitutes. Yep, yep. So they, it ain't, you they know, knew where the hose was at. Right. So it ain't like, right. Judah knew where the hose was at. Judah, <laughs> when he was walking, he saw it. And that's why Tamar knew to go to that particular part of the city. This is where people bug out. Yeah. Like prostitution ain't happening today. That which yeah. is then is now. Come yeah. on, bro. It ain't something that I particularly want to indulge in, but exactly. it happened, man. Exactly. It's all that's all that's it, that's all, man. These hoes is hoes. They they, they, they were always there, bro. These pimps, they tell you that prostitution is the oldest profession. Well it is. It is. It is. <laughs> and it ain't nothing righteous about a pimp, but we just saying it happened before, man. Right. Grow was, up. There wasn't no well, they probably were people pimping back in the day because you had the um, temple prostitution. Right. Oh yeah. But oh, yeah. prostitution yeah. was just an independent thing. Man. Right, right, right. It happens. Like, you know, <laughs> on some um what was it? Yeah. Craigslist where the girls was like 100 percent independent. Right, 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 right. right, right, right. Now, now I know about all that now. Right. But that's what they do. Right. Hey, it happened, man. And you can even go to uh look up documentaries on India now. There's women who were cast out of their father's house and they're being forced into prostitution and they're doing documentaries on it. That's what happens when you don't go through this process. This process and right. tradition, it could it, it get bad. It said, lest she be hated. Lest she be hated. Meaning, what, if your father hates you, he you pretty much cast out with a bad name. Yep. Go ahead. Brother. It's a little bit more in that, that verse I read earlier. Mm -hmm. This is back in Deuteronomy 22 and 21. It says, then they shall bring out the damsel to the door of her father's house, and the men of her city shall stone her with stones that she die. <laughs> because she had wrought folly in Israel, to play the whore in her father's house. Right. Look at that. Now, all of them wanted stone to put to death. Particularly of them were just cast off and 
the, the, the family wouldn't accept them and they had to do what they had to do. Go ahead. Exactly. So shalt thou put evil away from among you. So right. That's cast out. That's cast out. Mm -hmm. All right. So these are things you got to understand and know when you read about Israelites. You got to know Israelites. You got to know customs. You got to know these things. That's right. All right. I'm going to keep reading on this. Um, back in verse 10. In her virginity, at least she should be defiled and got her child in her father's house. And having a husband, at least she should be uh, misbehave herself. And when she is married, at least she should be barren. Keep a sure watch over a shameless daughter. Mm -hmm. All right? You know your daughter has having them whole tendencies. Mm -hmm. You can see it in them. Mm -hmm. You can see it, yep. At least she make thee a laughing stock to thine enemy. Oh, man, we done ran the train on your door. You at the school with your socks pulled all the way up to your knee. Where my daughter at? Yeah, the, preacher, the preacher's daughter. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Don't oh, we all know about her? Mm -hmm. right. And a byword in the city. Uh -huh. Oh. Like, uh, uh, what's the actor's name? Her daughter. Oh, uh, 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 Chippy D. What's the fucking, uh, this dude that played the Matrix? He played on Boys in the Hood. What's his name? Lawrence Fisher. his daughter. Oh, yeah. A complete whore. Yeah. Nasty hoe. Goodness gracious. What yeah, that's a shame as a that's father a to have that. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Your daughter on the pole, like Chris Rock. Yeah. Like said. Fuck, where'd I yeah. go? Yeah. All, I'm, all I'm trying to do is keep her off the pole. Right. And a lot of understanding the scriptures just requires to grow the hell up and, you know? and, and, and be realistic, man. This stuff that's happening today happened back then. Go ahead. Clear heels. Keep your daughter out of the clear heels. Keep her out of the clear heels. <laughs> and a byword in the city, and a reproach among the people, and make thee ashamed before the multitude. Before the multitude. Before the, yeah. before, before the congregation. Yeah. Uh, your daughter nasty. Now go back to Matthew. So we got this, this, these, these understandings now. So now we're going to go through the story. All right. Uh, go ahead. Back in Matthew 19. 1 and 19, it says, Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately. I gotta hide her. He was troubled about how he should handle this situation. His mind wasn't at ease. Go ahead. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife. Joseph, thou son of David. Why did he mention that? Going all the way back to what we brought up earlier, man. Yep. Well, we just read the lineage in the, in the earlier part right. of chapter 1. That's it, man. It's, 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 it's perfect, man. So the angel is coming to comfort him. Go ahead. It says, fear not to take unto thee, marry thy wife. Fear not to take. Now, that's another thing, word we got to look up in the, in the Greek. Look up that word, to take, all right, unto marry thy wife. Because they use these, all these words, you got to go into them, man. To, to, go ahead, go ahead. This is uh, Genesis Genesis 24 and 67, it says, And Isaac brought her into his mother Sarah's tent and took Rebekah, and she became his wife. Come on, right. Jim. What did right. he do? Took Rebekah, and she became his wife. <laughs> Just that right. Right. right, but this take right here yeah. is, 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 is actually speaking of accepting what you're mine. Right. Because he had already took her. All right? Yeah. Go ahead. The Parabalama. Mm -hmm. Yep, there you go. It says to take to to take with oneself mm -hmm. to join to oneself an associate companion mm -hmm. metaphorically to accept or acknowledge to. one to be such as he professes to be mm -hmm. not to reject not to reject not to withhold obedience there you go so the angel has come to comfort him saying look you gotta just accept it kind, kind. there's it's a it. reason I had you to lay with her before the custom it's all good be, be of good comfort. Go ahead. It says to receive something transmitted and offers to be discharged, to receive with the mind. To receive with the mind. That's what it means to take. It didn't mean to, to have sex with her at that moment. It basically, he was telling him to accept it because Joseph was distraught. He's like, damn, man, I didn't, yep. you know? I was like, shit. You messed up the tradition, yep. But you messed up, you know? Yep, yep. But we always got to go back to what was the prophecy of how the woman Messiah will come? Through the lineage of David, man. That's right. Okay, so the, 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 the angel is coming to comfort him. Go ahead. It says, start at 20 again. Matthew 1 and 20. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, 
fear not to take unto thee marry thy wife. He, she's already his wife. Yo, he had already actually took her. Right. Yo. Although you, yeah. she would be your wife even in a spousal, she was likened unto a wife. She was actually his wife. And in the genealogy, it called uh, 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 Joseph Mary's husband. The only way to complete a husband and wife transaction is through the act of sex. That's right. Okay? Which they had already did it before the custom. Go ahead. For that which is conceived in her... Conceived. Now, what does conceived mean? <laughs> this dude that was with vocab alone said mean, the conceived doesn't mean... Let, let's look up conceived. <laughs> Somebody look up conceived. Okay? Yeah, what was he saying? He was saying... He said conceived doesn't mean... A man See. puts sperm into a woman. What? I mean, it just means she's. I don't even know. True. Come on. Conceived. Watch it. Strong's G, 1080. Genau. 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 Of men who father children. Of men who father children. The conception is basically the seed going inside of the egg and being nourished. For the child to eventually be born, man. Okay? Go ahead. It says to be born, to be begotten, of women giving birth to children. Metaphorically, to engender, cause to arise, excite. <laughs> Nothing happens until you're excited. You mm -hmm. you What's that? Right. That's not now, that. I got this in Ruth 4 and 14. All right? Ruth 4 and 13. So Boaz took Ruth. And she was his wife, and he went in unto her. The Lord gave her conception, and she bare a son. Conception, That's conceive, right. to have a child, man. Gee whiz. That's the only way it can happen. That's the I'm only saying. way it can happen. <laughs> Wisdom of Solomon 7 real quick. Man, but we ridiculous. But we ridiculous. For, for, you know, believing we Israelites and... Yeah, believing that everything. We, you know, we ridiculous, ridiculous about everything, but you can tell somebody they're gonna burn in hell forever. Could you imagine this shit? You ever touch the stove or iron forever? <laughs> we hey, we even offer a better deal for that. You gonna have to serve slavery to heathen. You gonna have to serve your slavery. Then after a thousand years, we gonna get rid of Esau, and then the heathen just gonna be subject to our laws. We gonna exactly. put them in their, their place. Woo Go ahead. GMS pillar in the temple. Conceive bird. Late 13th century. <laughs> Take seed into the womb, become pregnant. Right. <laughs> become <laughs> pregnant. Busting all kinds of nuts. That's right. Y'all y'all new YouTube users probably don't know. Y'all don't know the highest twins. Y'all know about the highest twins, man. Busting all kinds hey, of nuts. Hebrews 11 and 11. You know Vegas will come with that three from the corner. Yeah. Through faith also Sarah herself conceived strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age, all right, because she judged him faithful, faithful who had promised. Yeah. Pre. Yeah. You know? <laughs> hey, we this is our book, man. You guys just you other you Christians need to just give up, man. Go eat jellyfish tacos with vocab alone yeah, and leave man. us the hell alone. We don't agree with you. This is our faith. That's right. You goddamn niggas. <laughs> Joseph went he was raw, raw diggity dad. Raw diggity. Joseph got it. Oh, damn. I raw, I was in the solid raw. Why are y'all telling my heels were showing? Go ahead. Uh oh, they are? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> this is Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 1. It says, I myself also am a mortal man, like to all, in the offspring of him that was first made of the earth. Right. Go ahead. And in my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh. In the time of ten months, mm -hmm. being compacted in blood of the seed of man, mm -hmm. in the pleasure that came with sleep. In the pleasure that came with sleep. Go ahead. It says, and when I was born, I drew in the common air and fell upon the earth, which is of like nature. Mm -hmm. And the first voice which I uttered was crying as all others do. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, I was nursed in swaddling clothes. What not, Yahushua? Nursed in swaddling clothes when he was born. Go ahead. I was nursed in swaddling clothes, and that and that with cares. Mm -hmm. For there is no king that had any other beginning of birth. No Ooh. king had any Ooh. other beginning of birth, man. And this is Solomon. Now, people Ooh. will make the argument about Melchizedek. Well, 
Hebrews 7 and 3, without father and without mother, without descent. Now, if you're making an argument that the Messiah had just a mother, the, the child that came out of her would have to come through a seat. Melchizedek didn't have to, uh, didn't have a mother, a mother or a father. So you can't use that argument, man. Mm -hmm. There is no other way a king will come onto the earth but through the seed of man. Right. Point blank period according to the Holy Scriptures. Now I have to stop mm -hmm. real quick mm -hmm. right? and go back to that three. Mm -hmm. The brother GMS Vegas said yeah, that pre. Okay, that, hold up. That pre for three. Pre for three. Hebrews eleven and eleven. Yeah. Through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age. Now, the brother brought out that word conceive in the Greek. Mm -hmm. I got it. Katabole, the injection or depositing of vero semen in the womb. <laughs> Come on. Yeah! Come, Come on, cuz. No, balls deep. He was in there, bro. Putting in that work. <laughs> Same thing with Mary, man. So we're not bugging out. This is the doctrine. Exactly. And we ain't even finished with the chapter. Yep, that's right. Okay. <sighs> Come on, man. It's according to prophecy because we're not saying that the Most High, if he didn't uh, uh, want to do it the way that these Christians believe, he didn't have the ability to do it. Mm -hmm. We're not saying that. We're just saying... According to the prophecy, it happened the way all men are born upon the earth. He had to be of the seed of David. According exactly. to the prophecy. To the it's prophecy. mandatory. Exactly. exactly. If it didn't say that, we wouldn't preach it. We wouldn't exactly. preach it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Absolutely, my brother. That's right. Y'all tripping. All right. I'm going to go ahead. Back to uh, uh, Matthew 1. 1 20. This is back in uh, Matthew 1 and 20. But while he thought on these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying... Joseph, thy son of David. Just period. imagine Joseph. He's like, fuck, what am I do? He know the custom. He know this is a strict, you know, family. He's of the royal line of David. Right. Mm -hmm. He know it's strict. So their family wasn't like not known. They weren't, yeah. Mm -hmm. They were very known. They were very popular. All right. Go ahead. It says, saying, Joseph, thy son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. So it was already in her. It said that which is conceived is of the Holy Spirit. And people bug out on that, and we keep bringing it out. Was not John the Baptist conceived of the Holy Spirit? It, it said in Luke that the Holy Spirit leaped in Elizabeth's womb, okay, when she heard the salutation, man. So, so the, the child in her was of the Holy Spirit. But did not John the Baptist have a father named Zacharias? And I got to read verse 22. And this is the reason why it happened this particular way. Yeah, we're going to get that. We're going to get it. You want to hold up? Wait. Yeah. Where are you at? Matthew 1? 1 and 22. Yeah, yeah we're going to keep reading down. Okay. 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 Luke, Luke. Luke 1 and 41. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb. <laughs> and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. And she spake out with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Right. And whence, it, uh, and whence is this to me, that the mother of the of my Lord should come to me? Because they were all watching for that child, the, the Messiah, prophecy. to come. They were all watching for the prophecy. The star came. It was like, oh, Herod even knew. That's yep. it. You know, he was in Bethlehem. He was slain. Telling. They were telling him. The prophets were telling him. They were telling him. He had the prophets in his council. Right. That's right. They were telling Herod, look, so he tried to kill all of the, the male children. Go ahead. It says, for lo, as soon as the voice of salutation sounded in my ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. See? And blessed is she that uh, believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. Uh, let me see. But the point is, the, the Holy Spirit leaped, you know, uh, in her womb, man, uh, in, her, her, in her belly, man, mm -hmm. which was John the Baptist, because he was the one prophesied to come before the Lord. That's right, that's right. He was born of the Holy Spirit. He was. He John the Baptist was prophesied, get Malachi real quick, Prepare Malachi right. 4, Malachi 4, and uh, I'll get it real quick. Yeah. This is Malachi 
in the internet. Slow it down. Yes, yes. Malachi chapter 4 and 5. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. He shall turn the heart of the children to the fathers and the heart of the fathers to the children, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. All right? And who fulfilled that prophecy? All right? <laughs> this is uh, Luke chapter 1 and 16. All right? I'll start at 1 and 15. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, speaking of John the Baptist, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. And he shall be filled there with the is. Holy Spirit even from his mother's womb. That's it. That's a prophecy. That's <laughs> verse 15, verse 15, right? Yeah. Yep. So, so wait a minute. John the Baptist was filled with the Holy Spirit from his mother's womb. Hmm? Did he have a father? Zechariah, who was a priest who was over the lighting of the incense in the temple. That was his lot. He was a priest, man. So it says, and many of the children of Israel, showing you that John the Baptist only came for the children of Israel, shall return to the Lord their God, and he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient unto the wisdom of the just to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. And Zechariah said unto the angel, whereby shall I know this? For I am old and my wife is stricken in years. And Zechariah was John the Baptist's father, man. And he was born from the mother's, from his mother's womb, even of the Holy Spirit. Man. Jump to verse 24. It says, And after those days, Elizabeth conceived and hid herself five months, saying, Thus hath the Lord dealt with me in the days wherein he looked on me to take away my reproach among men. All right? Yeah. <laughs> to bring forth that seed. Yeah. You know? Women were very, very happy about bringing forth. And these women happened to be the women who were chosen vessels to bring forth these two great men in Israel. Come on, man. Come on now. Now let's go back to Matthew. You know, it's getting a little late. Kind of. This is bad. But there's so many more points we can go yeah, into. This is hella points. You know, Matthew uh, 1. Yeah, this is back in Matthew 1 and uh, 21. Uh, it says, and she shall bring forth the son, and they shall call his name Jehoshaphat, for he shall save his people from their sins. And that's the precept in Luke one thirty one, like we just read in Luke the first chapter. It says, verse twenty two. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled. That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet. And it's talking about Isaiah, mm -hmm. like we read earlier in the seventh chapter. It says, now all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child. I guess they didn't know the break. I guess, I guess. <laughs> we, yeah, he, he was tripping. Yeah. They wasn't going by anything but what was written in the Holy Scriptures, man. That's right. And we already read the, the prophecy that he spoke. And read it. It says, uh, Behold, a virgin shall be born with child, and shall, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is uh, most high with us. So that goes back to Isaiah 7 and 14. Mm -hmm. Remember when it said the virgin, the young woman of marriageable age shall bring forth child. Yep. Go ahead. But I, if I could just say this too, that just proved that Yahweh Shah, just like John, he was born of the Holy Ghost. He fulfilled the prophecy. You know, the way, the, right. the, the exact strategic way that the most high had him come to the earth, it all fulfilled prophecy. Fulfilled prophecy. It says, back in Matthew 1 and uh, 24, it says, Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bid him, and took unto him his wife. He accepted it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Yahusha. Right. Yep. That's the breakdown now, you know? It's, I mean, it's, it's complicated, but if you're in the spirit... It's not complicated. It's not, yeah. It's, 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 the way it's, it's worded... It's hard to receive. It's hard to receive, right, right, right. right. It's not complicated. It's simple, but that doesn't mean it's easy. Right, right, Just right. because something's simple don't mean it's easy. easy. That's right, that's right. That's right. You know? And it's for those who have ears, man. You know? This is Acts 2 and 29. Men and brethren... This is uh, GMS Yabatiza. It says, uh, Men and brethren, let me speak unto you of the patriarch David... That he is both dead and buried, and his sepulchre is with us unto this day. 
therefore being a prophet. He was a prophet, Bocas. <laughs> and knowing that God has sworn with an oath that of the fruit of his loins, according to the flesh, he will raise up a Mashiach and Hawashah to sit on his throne. On, and the scriptures say, as, as his ways are plain unto the holy, they're stumbling blocks unto the wicked, you know? So, you got something else? No. No. So, you know, even like uh, John 7 and 42, real quick, John 7 and 42, the, 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 men, the men at that time had very well understood the prophecy, so when the Messiah was to come, they were going according to as it, as it is written. Go ahead. It's, this is uh, St. John 7 and 42. It says, Hath not the scripture said that Hamashiach, Yahushua, cometh of the seed of David? And out of the town of Bethlehem, where David was. <laughs> but he came out of Nazareth, but he was born in Bethlehem, exactly. according to the prophecy in Micah 5 and 2. Mm -hmm. Ephrath, all right? He was born in Bethlehem, but because of persecution from Herod, he, he fled to Egypt and he ended up being raised in Nazareth. So when they saw him, they were like, what? That ain't according to prophecy. But they were going into the prophecy. That was written in the, in the, in the prophets, man, in the, the testimony. And you guys just don't believe in the record. We can end it off with that. Uh, and John. 1 John 5. 1 John 5. You just don't believe in the record, man. All right? This is uh, 1 John 5 and, uh, and 10. It says, He that believeth on the Son of the Most High hath the witness in himself. Mm -hmm. He that believeth not the Most High hath made him a liar. You trying to make the Most High a liar, Vocab Malone, and all of you. Jellyfish eating niggas, man. Go ahead. They said, what type of nigga eat, would play even play like that, man? A reprobate. A reprobate. We're eating jellyfish. Ho, 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 ho. Come on, man. Let the jellyfish alone, man. Goodness gracious. Go ahead. It says, That's a Christian, though. A Christian can do anything. They're children. But Come you're going to hell. They're children. Yeah, they're children. big ass kids, man. It says, He that believeth not the Most High hath made him a liar. Because he believeth not the record that the Most High gave of his son. He believeth not the record that the Most High gave of his son, man. Testimony, baby. Testimony. Spirit of prophecy, baby. And when you don't go by that, you can, you can get, all right, uh, your mind can be diverted into all sorts of directions, man. You know? So, you know, with that, you know. Oh, I got the word for, for record. It's, uh... Mark to Rea, it says, a testifying the office committed to the prophets of testifying concerning future events. Prophesying. Nathan prophesied of it. All of the, a lot of the prophets prophesied. Genesis 49, all of it, man. Mm -hmm. So the Messiah came from the seed of David, man. That's right. More to come, uh, hopefully, through the yeah. Holy Spirit. We hope that you brothers and sisters were, were edified. All right. Uh, we want to give all praise. To the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rechak Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone. Peace and salutation as always to the elect. Shalom. Shalom, man. Go uh, willing, you brothers, uh, black brothers, we had a problem, man. Come. Indubitably. I got it, bro. The brother said he was edified, too, so. No.